Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I'll be talking to Colts. Yes, the Colts. Um, Frank Wright lost that game, and um, Phillip Rivers went out fighting. Can't lie. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. All right, so let me get into Frank Wright, man. Time to get into him. Um, winnable game. Winnable game. I. Uh, I know Eagles not even in the playoffs, but I have to mention them. Frank Wright did his best. When I say his best, his best impression of Doug Peterson. His best situational football. You you gone for unnecessary fourth downs. Um, it was just bad situational football. You know, you kick the field goal. I think it's 10-13. Instead, it's 7-13 to because you went for the touchdown. Then you go for unnecessary twos. And special teams kind of let them down a bit. Uh, they kick or dead miss a field goal. Um, that's three points right there. You lost another point going for two. Um, yeah, and you lost another three points or just not going for the field goal it's just bad situational football i get it's the playoffs want to be ultra aggressive but your defense was doing pretty good man i'm not gonna lie josh allen wasn't really getting nothing in the first half really nothing and it's like you you was he was doing too much he did too much he cost him that game um yeah he he definitely cost him that game there's no question about it. Phillip Rivers did his thing. Wide receivers did their thing. They tight in, went off, and I got to salute my guy, Jonathan Taylor, man. I have to salute him, man. He went bananas, man. He went bananas. He had 21 rush attempts, 78 yards, and a touchdown. And a touchdown, and, 20, and he had a 20-yard run as well uh, which was which was pretty good so jonathan taylor all in all he ran for over a thousand yards this season it was a great team effort but i don't think frank wright did right by this team and let me get into uh philip rivers philip rivers he did everything he could he he went out swinging but frank wright messed this up for him is philip rivers a hall of famer is he a Hall of Famer? Um, I say no, because anytime you ask that question, they're usually not. And, you know, Frank Wright put another stain on his resume. He lost in the first round. Um, he lost to a team. And salute to the Bills, because I've been saying they're going to go to the Super Bowl. But, oh, man, it was close. It was close, man. Um, but Frank Wright didn't put that team in the best position, man. He, he did not. He once again put another stain on Phillip Rivers' uh, record. Phillip Rivers could have been going to the next round. And the way the defense was looking, speaking of that, the penalties. But all in all, the defense looked good. And yeah, Phillip Rivers threw over 300 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. No picks. So. I mean, I mean, he did everything he could, man. That's probably one of the best games I've seen him play. He kind of looked flawless out there, but I mean, hey, his coach didn't back him up, man. His coach didn't back him up. And I like Frank Wright. It's hard for me to criticize him like this, but I definitely, definitely seen the similarities between him and Doug Peterson. Once again, aggressive for no reason. Your defense is playing pretty good. Josh Allen and the Bills can't move the ball, but you constantly giving them life, giving them life, giving them life. You see, when the Bills had the ball, they was taking the points. They was taking the points. If they could get a field goal, they got the field goal. Even if it took kicking a 50-yard plus, they got the field goal. Y'all was at the goal line. And once again, it is not like the Bills were scoring and scorching your defense and you needed to do that. You did not need to do that. You did not need to do that. So um 
Yeah, and, and once again, Phillip Rivers is not a Hall of Famer. Lost another playoff game in the first round. To me, the talent they had, they looked like they could have upset the Nets, whoever team they could have played Nets, if they would have won that game. They left about five to seven points on the table. That would have been enough to win that game. But Frank Wright cost his team the game. But what do you think and how do you feel about the Colts, man? Um, bright future ahead, I believe. Bright future ahead. But let me know what you think. Um, if this was Phillip Rivers' last game, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? Because I think he went out swinging. He did everything he could. Um, but, hey, if the Colts don't call the right plays, it costs you the game. But this is Alphabet Analyst. Ghost.